Hi, I'm Emily Kress, Senior Corporate Communication Specialist here at Dupaco Credit Union, and welcome to Dupaco's 75th Annual Meeting. You are in the right spot, and we are just going to be getting started here in a little bit. The meeting starts at 1 o'clock, but between now and then, we are going to just show you around some of the tools that are available to you on the virtual platform. We're also going to introduce you to a few employees from around the credit union to kind of give you some update with, updates with what's happening. Um, first things first though, I just wanted to point out some of the tools there available for you. Uh, on the side of the screen, you'll see some chat features and go ahead and use that if you'd like. Um, go ahead and say hello to your fellow members and just type in hi or whatever you'd like. Um, you can also make sure to test out those speakers, make sure everything is working. And we've also partnered with Wired Production Group. If you have any technical issues throughout the day, go ahead and contact them with the information that's on the screen and they'll be able to help you throughout um, any technical issues that you might see. Today's event is a hybrid event. I'm actually joining you live from our, from Dupaco's uh, operations center in downtown Dubuque, but our members are actually joining us just down the way at the Grand River Center in Dubuque. So we can actually take a peek at um, kind of what's going on now. Um, we can take a live footage here and you're seeing that members, they're starting to get into their seats, trying to get ready. Um, they're reading their annual report and just kind of mingling. It's, it's um, a very um, reunion type of atmosphere. A lot of our members participate in the annual meeting on a very regular basis. So um, just a very, it's, it's just a time to catch up and, and see how everyone's been doing over the last year. So I mentioned that they're um, taking a peek at their annual report. So in there, you'll find some member stories, some employee stories, some financial reports um, from around the credit union, You'll be able to also get the report from our board chairman, Ron Myers, and then our um, CEO, Joe Hearn. So go ahead, you'll find it in the links um, on the side of the screen it, that you can take a peek between now and um, the, the kickoff of the event, or you can take a read at it um, after the event has kind of closed up. So in 2023, Dupac will celebrate our 75th anniversary. So back in 1948, 10 employees of the Dubuque Packing Company started the credit union to help their co-workers um, throughout, throughout the pack. And since then, the credit union has continued to evolve, uh, meeting members where they are, whether it's geographically or financially. Uh, and throughout that, um, we're able to continue to serve members in branch, throughout the community outreach and education networks, um, our live video tellers, and um, through innovation labs and just throughout our online and mobile mobile platforms. But I'm curious, um, if you find the chat there on the side, do you remember the first time that you were, uh, the first time that you visited a Dupaco branch? Do you remember what branch you uh, visited first? Uh, why don't you throw that in the chat and we'll see where everyone's first time that they may have visited a, a, a Dupaco branch or an online platform. 75 years ago, Dupaco was actually started out of a cigar box um, just down the street from where I'm at right now uh, at the Dubuque Packing Company. And in the 1950s, it was when Dupaco got its first standalone credit union branch. And it was actually one of the first in the state of Iowa, uh, the first credit union in the state of Iowa that, that had our own branch. So to chat a little bit more about our first branch, uh, I have two very special guests with me today. Um, Jim Bamboom and Kevin Weber are here to talk a little bit more about that Sycamore branch. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Emily said, I am Jim Bamboom. I am with Card Services here at Dupaco. And with me today, Kevin Weber, branch manager of our Sycamore branch. Today, we are in the studio at the Dubuque Operations Center for Dupaco in downtown Dubuque. Kevin, how are you today? I'm doing great, good, and thank good. you for the invite. I appreciate yeah. the opportunity to, yeah. to thanks talk. For, thanks for coming down. Thanks for taking some time away as you're heading down to the annual meeting um, down at the Grand River Center. So tell me a little bit about um, yourself. How long have you been an employee here with Dupaco? Yeah, so I just celebrated 21 years um, with the credit union here in January. Um, it's been a great journey for sure. Yeah. And, um, you know, I've had the opportunity to work, you know, in different roles sure. and at different locations uh, over my years here. So I spent some time in Galena, um, spent some time in our Key West branch, which is on the south side of Dubuque here. And then more recently, uh, for the last five years roughly, here at the, the Sycamore branch location, uh, close to the Voices. Awesome, awesome. So branch manager, can you tell me a little bit more about what that means and what you do, what your role here at Tupaco is? Absolutely, Jim. So you know, I'm fortunate to, 
to lead and have the opportunity to, um, to coach and mentor and help develop a team of 14 individuals, mm -hmm. teammates here at the credit union. Um, and beyond that, you know, really serving our members' needs, right? So whether it's depository services, lending services, investments, insurance, et cetera, um, kind of making sure that we're delivering on the brand promise of DePaco. Awesome, awesome. So let's talk a little bit about your branch. I love your team, by the way. Great to work with. Um, I love the Sycamore branch. There's a lot of history, a lot of legacy there. Um, can you talk a little bit more about Sycamore being the, like the first branch at DuPaco and sort of the history and why members are drawn down to um, your area? Yeah, absolutely, Jim. I'm, we're proud of it for sure, to say yeah. the least. So it all started there, right? Back in mm -hmm. 1948, um, said that uh, 10 employees of the Dubuque Packing Company, you know, mm -hmm. kind of started things out of a cigar box, so to yeah, speak. Yeah. And uh, from there, you know, roughly 10 years later, um, 1958, built the first branch um, at what is 1465 Sycamore Street. Mm -hmm. um, roughly 40 years later, 97, built what we currently occupy as right. you know, the newest branch, uh, the most recent branch. You know, and it's really a, a tribute and a homage mm -hmm. to the history, right, of that partnership yeah. between the credit union and the Dubuque Packing Company. Yeah. A lot of cool memorabilia, relics there yes. in terms of, you know, the canned hams and pictures of yeah. the employees that worked in the kill yes. and worked, you know, in the retail markets, et cetera. So something to be very proud of. You know, we have visitors that come in and we'll just kind of enjoy looking back at the history of their family members and, yeah. and themselves as well. That is the best part of visiting your branch is seeing all the pictures and the history. Like I come in and I'm always like, I always find new details that I didn't see the last time. So that's great. Um, I can tell you're a very proud DuPac employee. What does being an employee at DuPac mean to you? Yeah, so a couple things come to mind. I mean, one is just kind of the family history, right? So mm -hmm. my father worked for 30 plus years at the DuPac Packing Company, mm -hmm. multiple uncles, family members as well that worked there. So, you know, I, I was around it growing up, you mm -hmm. know, so I've seen some of the benefits that the credit union, you know, was there for our members in tough times, you know, in the 80s, right? When yeah. the, the, the packing company closed mm -hmm. and it was expanded to a community charter. The credit union was there for our members. Um, and beyond that, just, you know, the impact of the community, right, that we have. And we talk about the three pillars. You know, the first one of them being home ownership, mm -hmm. uh, the second one being entrepreneurship or small business, and then the, the third being upskilling or reskilling, mm -hmm. um, helping those individuals right. within the community, right. you know, improve their marketability or their, their job skills so they can obtain good quality paying jobs. Awesome. So it's something to be very proud of, something yeah. we preach, and, and all of us you know, participate in that as well. Awesome. Well, Kevin, thanks for all the great work you're doing. I don't want to keep you. I do know you have to run off to the annual meeting. Um, but thanks, everyone. Emily, back to you. Thanks, Jim. And if you're just joining us, you are in the right spot. This is DuPaco's annual meeting. Um, just take a moment to check out the, the chat features on the side, make sure those speakers are working. But if you do happen to have any technical issues throughout the, throughout the day, throughout the meeting, we're partnering with Wired Productions Group, so um, you can reach out to them with any technical issues that you might be experiencing. You'll see their information there on the screen. So feel free to reach out to them if you're having any issues at all. If you also need the annual report, um, you'll be able to find that on the side of the screen as well, and you'll be able to click and download the annual report for 2023 there. Um, but right now, let's take a peek down at the Grand River Center. Uh, we can kind of start seeing everyone starting to roll in. They're trying to find their seats. Uh, you'll see that they, they got their annual reports. There's some live music happening. Uh, if you've ever been to one of the live events in, in person, you'll know that it's just a very um, reunion atmosphere. Everyone's just really excited to, to get to see everyone again and, and just start chatting with you know, fellow members or other employees throughout the, throughout the credit union. So uh, DuPaco continues to uh, evolve to meet our members' needs. And one person that knows that better than anyone is DuPaco's Christy Decker. Uh, she's meeting our members wherever they may be throughout the communities that we serve, and a lot of times that's actually um, at their place of employment. And right now, I'd actually like to welcome back Jim Bimboom, and he's chatting with Christy Decker from our Cedar Falls Learning Lab. Um, Christy has a really unique story to tell us about how she first actually got introduced to DuPaco and um, the importance DuPaco has had within her, just her family. So let's hear, Jim. Thanks, Emily. Hi again, Jim Bamboom. And now I'm joined by Christy Decker with our Community Outreach and Education team. She's joining us virtually from our Cedar Falls um, Learning Lab. 
Good afternoon, Christy. How are you today? Hey, Jim. I'm great. How are you? Good, good. It has been a hot minute since we've talked, so it's good to see you and glad we could connect. Um, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about what Community Outreach and Education does? All right, so I'm on a team of about 12 folks within the credit union. Um, all of us are placed throughout the different regions in the state. And our role is to be out into the community providing educational outreach, um, seminars, presentations, on-site coaching within our communities. Uh, that might be at a business, a manufacturer, maybe a daycare center, we're providing benefits for the staff. Uh, or maybe I'm in a classroom talking to a bunch of high school seniors about budgeting and credit. Um, our role within the credit union is to be out and about and to meet people where they are. Awesome. Yeah, great. You guys do such a great job. I know that you guys reach a lot of people that just aren't near a branch to be able to come in. So you're able to touch those communities that just don't have the same resources that ones that have branches in. So that's great. Um, but I'm also I also know that you have a great Dupaco story. You got a little this little family business running here. Um, why don't you go ahead and share your story with us? Okay. Well, you know, being that I'm not a Dubuque anymore, I was born and raised in Dubuque. I do think I got my first Dupaco savings account in 1989. I checked the other day. Uh, but really, um, residing in the Cedar Falls market, I've worked for Dupaco about five years. I've had several family members work here a lot longer. Um, a lot of them yeah, currently several. work here. Several. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, you know, it all started out with my grandpa, um, Dick Schrader, who was a Dubuque Packing Company member. I'm sorry, a Dubuque Packing Company employee. And then he helped um, govern the credit union. He sat on the board for just under 40 years. So he's he's the OG. Uh, but as far as others, my mom worked for Dupaco for just under 30 years, recently retired. I have a sister who's been here 20 plus years lots of cousins. I think I, I've only worked here for five years. I didn't know how many of us worked here until I worked here and I was quite stunned, but it is, it is not a family business despite uh, what some may think. <laughs> um, I, I will say being outside of the Dubuque area where most of them do work and live, I'm kind of that outsider and I don't carry that maiden name anymore, that Schrader name. So it is funny. I'm kind of like a little incognito here in the Cedar yeah. Valley, but I'm, I'm happy to work for a company that makes such a big difference. And I can see why so many of my family members enjoy it too. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Christy, great to have you. Um, we'll let you get back to the annual meeting. It's about to start, um, but always great to see you. And Emily, we'll turn it back to you. All right. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Christy. And be sure to stick around uh, after the close of the annual meeting where two of Christy's colleagues are actually going to be doing a webinar. It's a financial checkup webinar that you can um, tune into right immediately after the close of the annual meeting. So um, thanks for tuning in. Um, you are in the right spot. This is Dupaco's 75th annual meeting. And um, just a reminder that you can find our annual report. It's just located on the right hand side of the screen. And um, just why don't we actually take a peek down at the Grand River Center. So these are the folks that are joining in down at the Grand River Center um, uh, for the in-person event. Members are starting to find their spot and everything's kind of starting to wind down a little bit as we are very close to the start of the annual meeting. The event starts at one o'clock, so just stay put with where you're at. Um, but first, I do want to introduce to you our next special guest. We have been chatting with a couple of employees, kind of reflecting back on Dupaco's 75th um, year of service to our, to our members. First, we started, we chatted with Kevin, our branch manager at our Sycamore branch in Dubuque, which happened to be uh, the first location of Dupaco's branches. But now we're going to hear from Chris Garrett uh, with some updates on one of Dupaco's newest communities. Welcome back, everyone. Hi, Jim again with Card Services at Dupaco. I'm here with Chris Garrett. He's the uh, the upcoming branch manager for our Waukee branch. Chris, how are you today? Yeah, thanks, Jim. I'm doing very well. I always look forward to our annual meetings. I'm excited to be joining virtually today. And you're in our Grimes Learning Lab today, correct? That is correct. Perfect, perfect. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, what do you do for DePaco? 
Yeah, I've been lucky enough to work at Depaco since May of 2017. Uh, I started as a teller just at the Williams Boulevard branch in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Worked my way up to member service representative and helped open the Marion branch. Uh, became the operations assistant there before I moved out to the Grimes location to help open this branch. Uh, my next opportunity awaits in Waukee. Awesome. So you've been in Marion. You're in Grimes today. You're going to be in Waukee pretty soon. <laughs> what's it like moving into all these new communities? What's your, I what's feel your... lucky enough. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I feel lucky enough to have been here at Depaco in the right place at the right time. Um, being able to to bring what Depaco offers to our new communities is is really exciting. Um, knowing that we have something special to offer our existing members and those that aren't members of ours quite yet, yeah, it's invigorating. Awesome. And I assume your team's excited. What's the excitement? What's the buzz like um, at Grimes for Waukee? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we try to focus on a lot of things in the community um, that, that we're all individually passionate about. Uh, for example, one employee loves helping animals. So she volunteers at the uh, Animal Rescue League of Iowa. Uh, some of our employees spend their volunteer time off um, doing things that are like-minded to Depaco, like Junior Achievement, for example, is a really great partner um, in that regard. I personally volunteer my time at the Department of Corrections, um, teaching a, a course at, uh, at Finance 101, uh, kind of just teaching oh, them, you know, the good. basics of banking in the modern age and things like that. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I personally, I was in junior achievement when I was in high school. So I love to hear that we're actually giving back into junior achievement. And I didn't, I didn't know you were volunteering with the Department of Corrections. Like that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Everyone needs financial education. So there isn't anybody that, that doesn't need it. So great. Great for you. So let's talk Waukee. <laughs> um, what can you tell me? What's the scoop? What's the news? What can you share? Yeah, well, Waukee's going to be a learning lab branch, the same as the Grimes branch and other branches in our markets, uh, focused on teaching our members how to improve their financial well-being through technology. Um, our future forward mindset's always been able to recognize, you know, those benefits uh, to provide to Paco's way in the financial guidance, but also to leverage that ever-growing technological aspect uh, that our members actually want. Um, we're, we're moving right along. We're expecting our soft opening in a few short weeks. Great. Awesome. Yeah, that'll be awesome. So we're running out of time here. I want to make sure that we can get you back to the um, annual meeting here, but can you tell me what it means to you to be a DuPaco employee? Yeah, absolutely, Jim. Uh, being a DePaco employee for me, it means togetherness, empowerment, and opportunity. Uh, for example, we really care about other DePaco employees, our members, and our community. Um, we're empowered to learn, to grow, succeed. Uh, luckily, through my tobacco career, I bugged my managers for things to do constantly, but was never told no. So opportunity was abound. Awesome. Thanks, thanks, Chris. Oh, yeah, I appreciate your time today. Um, great seeing you. Um, and Emily, back to you. Thanks, Jim and Chris, and also thanks to Christy and Kevin for stopping by um, on their way to the annual meeting or before they are signing into the annual meeting virtually. Uh, we're getting very close to kicking off this year's event. And um, as we can see here from the, the live um, feed, the room is very full. Um, everyone is finding their annual reports and finding their seats and, and we're getting ready to, to really kick this off. But um, before we do that, I want to hear from you. So we're going to put a poll up on the screen and we're curious on where you're tuning into in from today. Um, just click one of the answers that best suits your um, location. We'd just like to see where everyone's tuning into today. And just a couple of last minute reminders. Uh, if you need an annual report, you'll find the links there on the, on the side of the screen. Um, and if you also, if you have any technical issues throughout the, the course of the meeting, we're partnering with Wired Productions Group, so um, you can reach out to them with any technical issues that you might be experiencing. You'll see their information there on the screen. So feel free to reach out to them if you're having any issues at all. But at one o'clock, we will be kicking off Dupaco's 75th annual meeting. So um, stick around um, and make sure you stick around until after the annual meeting where we're going to be having a webinar, a financial checkup webinar with Dupaco's community outreach team. So um, stick around for that. But the event is getting ready to start and you, all you have to do is just stay right here. So just sit back and relax and um, get ready to learn a little bit more about your credit union. Thanks for tuning in today and thanks for being a member of Dupaco.
From 10 founding members to over 163,000 today, Dupaco Credit Union has built a reputation of excellence with its members, employees, and communities served. Our story starts on July 17, 1948, when 10 meatpacking employees pool together $50 and take out a loan for $123 from their local union to start a credit union chartered by the state of Iowa. They use six letters from their employer's name, Dubuque Packing Company, and name it Dupaco. By the end of the first year, Dupaco has 101 members. In the 1950s, home ownership becomes more attainable when Dupaco begins funding home loans. The credit union's name changes to Dupaco Employees Credit Union. Systematic savings is born. PAC employees get the opportunity to automatically deposit up to $3 per pay period into their Dupaco savings account and Dupaco becomes the first Iowa credit union to construct its own office building, located on Sycamore Street in Dubuque. In the 1960s, Dupaco is among the nation's first credit unions to install a computerized bookkeeping system. This technological advancement helps support the credit union's growing operations as membership eligibility extends into family members of the PAC and enables members to create multiple savings accounts under a single member number further promoting mindful saving habits. The 70s kicks off with Bob Hafer named president and appointed to the DePaco Board of Directors. A new office opens at the corner of Hillcrest and JFK, and a robust online computer system allows live balance access for staff to support growing membership that now includes all nine Dubuque Packing Company locations nationwide and additional employer groups. During the 1980s, the credit union officially becomes a community-chartered credit union and updates its name to DePaco Community Credit Union after the closure of the Dubuque Packing Company. The community charter expands membership eligibility to those residing or working in Dubuque, Jackson, and Delaware counties in Iowa, then additional counties in Iowa, Southwest Wisconsin, and Northwest Illinois throughout the decade. DuPaco grows product and service offerings by introducing business and home equity loans, financial planning, and new debit and credit card programs. The 90s brings a new corporate logo, new and expanded branches, and daily dividend payments to members' savings accounts. Dupaco embraces the cooperative model by encouraging responsible financial activity and thrift through launching the community-wide garage sales and teaching kids good money habits through the Dupaco Positive Action Club. Innovation continues to be a priority as Dupaco.com debuts and online banking launches. Dupaco recognizes opportunities to expand services by forming Dupaco Financial Services, offering loan products like Prime Cut Home Equity and Minimax, and on-site Dupaco financing at area auto dealers. At the turn of the century, Dupaco opens its doors in two new states and adds several new branches to serve our growing membership. The growth doesn't stop there. Dupaco's digital boom allows for online account opening, 24-hour online loan approval, electronic statements, account alerts, and Shine online banking. Dupaco continues to meet people no matter where they are in life by introducing free money makeovers designed to improve their overall financial well-being, joining the privileged status surcharge-free ATM network and protecting members with customized insurance policies through Dupaco Insurance Services. By the decade's end, membership exceeds 56,000 and assets over $777 million. In the 2010s, growth continued with new branch locations and charter areas. In 2012, after more than 47 years of dedicated service, Bob Hafer passes the torch to Joe Hearn, the new president and CEO. Dupaco's award-winning Thank Yous program launches, and in its first year, pays more than $2.8 million in dividends to members who actively participate in the cooperative. Dupaco also rolls out several new features in Shine Online Banking to help protect members against fraud, make it easier to apply for a loan, and enable helpful savings tools. As the credit union celebrates its 70th anniversary, membership surpasses 100,000 members. Starting in 2020, 
Dupaco Ads Learning Labs becomes the top credit union in America and a community development financial institution serving over 160,000 members. Then, Dupaco proudly debuts their new headquarters, the Voices Operations Center, restoring and reinvesting in a vacant manufacturing building in Dubuque's historic Millwork District, the neighborhood where Dupaco was founded. 2023 marks another milestone of 75 years of services. Here are some of the amazing accomplishments from this last year. The future is bright for DePaco, all because of you. Our cooperative, our members, our community. Thank you for participating in your credit union. Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Ron Myers and I am chair of your board of directors and will preside over today's meeting agenda. I hereby call to order the 75th annual membership meeting of Dupaco Community Credit Union. At this time I'd like to introduce my fellow members of the Dupaco Community Credit Union Board of Directors. I request the directors to please stand when I call your name. Steve Chapman, Denise Dolan, Ellen Goodman Miller, Vice Chair, Renee Poppy, Secretary, Randy Skemp, Bob Wethel, Andy Schrader, Treasurer. And once again, I'm Ron Myers, your chair. Mr. Jeff Goner is an excused absence today. Ms. Secretary, please note eight directors are present. Mr. Chair, 21 members are necessary to constitute a quorum. I hereby declare that a quorum is present. Thank you, and I, once again, I'd like to welcome everyone here to our 75th annual meeting of membership. I also want to welcome those who are joining in remotely. This is the second year we've held a hybrid event. This event set up allows us to join in person here at the Grand River Center in Dubuque, while also welcoming those tuning in remotely online at a location that works best for them. Once again, welcome. We are glad to have you all here, and thank you for your participation in your credit union. As chair, I have the minutes from last year's annual membership meeting read. If you so desire, we can suspend the reading of last year's meeting minutes, and I would entertain a motion to do so. Thank you. We have a motion, a second, a second also. All in favor, please say yay. Opposed? Nay. Thank you. That motion carries. As a Democratic member-owned cooperative, each member of the credit union gets an equal say in their organization. One member, one vote, no matter how much money a member has deposited in the cooperative. 
DuPacle was once able again to provide an option where members could choose how they voted with either a paper ballot or an online ballot. Bob Wethel will now present the nominating committee report. Mr. Wethel. Good afternoon. DePeco Community Credit Union is governed by a nine-person board of directors. Each is elected by you, the member, to serve a three-year term. These dedicated people up here with me today volunteer their time and talents to guide DePeco in its mission to help members build a life worth loving. As one of the nine directors, I can confidently say that we are all very proud to be elected by you. We take our roles to represent each and every one of our 163,000 plus members very seriously to ensure we are always in line delivering one tobacco experience. Our mission, vision, values is what guides us to ensure our board and staff are represented every member of our credit union at all times. As I mentioned, our directors volunteer their time and talents to guide tobacco. Each director also bears personal liability as an officer of the credit union. As a credit union nomination committee, Renee Poppy, Denise Dolan, and I called for applicants for the membership in October of 2023. We have collected and evaluated qualified candidates. After deliberation, the full board has affirmed three nominees as a slate of candidates for your consideration. They will fill the expired terms of Ms. Ellen Goodman Miller, Mr. Jeff Goner, and Mr. Randy Skemp. As many of you saw when you voted, whether you chose to vote online at depaco.com or you request a paper ballot, three incumbent, incumbent expressed their desires to run again. After reviewing, the nominating committee has determined the most qualified candidates to fill the open positions are Ms. Ellen Goodman Miller. Mr. Jeff Goner and Mr. Randy Skemp. The three nominations are very qualified to serve with distinction, Topaco and the credit union movement. The incumbents have ex exemplary attendance records both in committee and regular board meetings. Each has demonstrated the talent and ability to fulfill this position. To provide all members an opportunity to participate in the credit union, and vote for the Board of Directors, members were able to vote online or by mail starting January 11, 2024 through February 16, 2024. An official election notice was included in the January's owner's manual, inviting all members to vote for the Board of Directors. Both the online and paper ballots include the candidates' names and biographs. Provide, providing an online and paper option to vote we continue to see a record number of DePaco members able to participate in their financial cooperative's democratic process. Thanks for exercising your ownership's responsibility. DePaco's board of directors approved working with the trusted credit union partner, Credit Union Executive Society, to count and verify the ballots. As the close of the election, the credit union's executive Society provided the election committee comprised of DePaco's members elected results. The committee is chaired by Ms. Selu Ariel. Thank you for your service, Ms. Ariel. At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Ariel to provide the election results. Thanks, Bob. The Credit Union Executive Society has counted all received ballots and certified the vote. For regulation, the Credit Union will retain all voting materials for a period of 60 days. Each of the three candidates have been elected by the membership. Congratulations, Ellen Goodman Miller, Jeff Conner, and Randy Skemp. Thank you, Selu. Mr. Chairman, this concludes the nominating committee's report to the membership. Once again, congratulations to Ellen, Jeff, and Randy. And thank you, Bob, for your report, and Selu for the election results. 
The reorganization meeting will be today following the annual meeting of membership, at which time all directors will take the oath of office. I would like to thank my fellow directors for executing the responsibility for planning and making the critical decisions necessary to keep the credit union meeting and financial needs of the membership acting in good faith and using sound business judgment. These directors are all volunteers and contribute countless hours of dedicated service to DePaco. They continually seek out educational opportunities to keep abreast of the new regulations and products and services to meet the members' needs. Once again, thank you. I will now offer my report as chair. Once again, my name is Ron Myers, and I'm honored to preside as board chairman during the, your credit union's 75th annual meeting of membership. On behalf of my fellow elected board members, I am pleased to report that your credit union continues to make a positive difference in the lives of more than 163,000 members. It's powerful to reflect back on the impact of your financial cooperative has had in the communities as we continue to serve over these past 75 years. While we've grown since 1948 with new members, new communities, new employees, and new technologies, one thing remains the same. DuPaco is still DuPaco. We continue to bring our roots with us no matter where we are and who we serve. Our team of passionate, engaged employees work hard to educate, collaborate, and carry out DuPaco's mission to help every member build a life worth loving. And you will see in the annual report that DuPaco was recognized as a top employer from not one, not two, but three different groups, including Iowa Top Workplace, Forbes, and Employ Humanity. This is quite the accomplishment and one that is not taken lightly. Our team has your back and keeps your well-being top of mind. The tools we provide are helping you stay committed to your financial goals. In fact, in 2023, nearly 14,000 members learn how to build credit, pay less and save more through our free credit history lessons and monthly makeovers. Over 56,000 members took charge of your credit union in using our free BrightTrack credit monitoring service. And we were able to help 218 members buy their first home. There's no better place to feel more confident about your well-being than DuPaco. It's heartening to hear stories on how our team is able to continue to support members no matter where they may be, financially or physically. Stories like member Amy Weir, you are pictured on page five of the annual report. Amy was able to continue to use DuPaco's online tools to stay connected to her financial cooperative, not only while she was studying abroad, but also helping her and her husband as they started planning new routes in the Netherlands. And members Juan Garcia and his daughter, Allison, who are pictured on page six of the annual report, where Juan and Allison share how they've been able to apply those savvy saving and credit techniques that he's learned from DuPaco over the years to help finance a car for his daughter's quinceanera. And for members Stephanie Grutz and Alex Gertz, who are sitting right in front, after conversations with DuPaco's Olivia Berger, they created a plan on how we could work together to build out and expand the business of their dreams. Here they are to tell us more about their story. We always knew that we wanted to grow and we couldn't find the right location. So when this spot appeared, like gosh, if we can get this location secured and we talked to the Paco Credit Union, Olivia made it really easy for us. And with the help of them, we've been able to create this beautiful space. Yeah, welcome to the health spa. So in 2014, I became a nurse practitioner and I also got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Western medicine wasn't fulfilling my needs and you know, I was a Western medicine provider. So I started seeking some alternative therapies and I was like, well, if I'm not getting nutrients absorbed very well in my gut, 
how can I do that? I flew out to the West Coast. I was receiving IV nutritional therapy, and I was like, wow, this is really helping me. I'm gonna just bring it back home. So we just set up a couple chairs in my prior clinic, and I was like, well, if there's people like me, I'll be able to help them. In 2016, we decided that it was time to build out a space, and at that time, we had a little bit of savings saved up that we used to pack to help finance more of that project. What was kind of neat through that process was watching Stephanie be the first employee, practically lock the door behind her while she was seeing patients, and then start adding front desk staff, and then adding another nurse, and then another nurse, and expanding our hours into being a full-time clinic. What we provide here is IV nutritional services. So we do IV therapy straight to the veins. It bypasses the gut to allow complete absorption. We also do IM injection therapy for vitamins and nutrients. We do ozone therapy, hyperbaric oxygen chamber therapy to help rejuvenate your cells. Really when you walk into the space, it's like walking into a detoxing facility. Like you're, you're detoxing your cells, you're helping provide it with the nourishment it needs. Everything in this space is as clean, non-toxic, and chemical-free as possible to make this space just really enjoyable for all. A couple of years ago, we both approached Olivia at Topaco, and she walked us through a lot of the paperwork and the process in order to get this project started. Luckily, my parents had some financial education, so when they had me, they opened an account with Topaco, so I've been a member there for over 35 years and we've always been really good savers. The best thing about working with DePaco was that not only did they help us supply our funds for this building, but they also showed us other available opportunities out in the small business community that could help us actually reduce our loan rate. So they are partners with us and knowing that they were taking our best interests into mind was what ultimately made us choose them for our future projects as well. It's just an amazing feeling to finally open up our doors after a year-long construction project and even longer in planning. Just so happy to be able to provide this type of service to our community. The health spa is finally a reality and thanks to DePaco we are here and our dreams are coming true. As mentioned, Stephanie and Alex, along with her child, are here today. Once again, we'd like to thank you for allowing us to serve you this exciting new chapter for your family. In addition to being member-owned and not-for-profit, credit unions are unique from banks for many reasons detailed throughout your annual report. One difference, just like Bob Wethel mentioned in his nomination report, is the individuals who serve on your credit union's board of directors who are democratically elected by the membership. Each member has one vote, no matter how much money he or she has with the credit union. The DuPaco board and our nearly 700 employees are extremely committed to our mission. As member advocates, they demonstrate a genuine focus for the overall financial sustainability of the membership, the cooperative, and our community. They're a dedicated group and I'm honored to join them in service to you. As a cooperative, we are all in this together. DuPaco's success is directly tied to how much members like you use it. If we made a positive difference in your financial position, please send us your family, your friends, and your neighbors. I know I speak for the board and staff. When someone takes full advantage, of all the things that DuPaco offers, it also helps someone else. Members helping members, teaching one, one another how to get and stay ahead. Cheers to your enthusiastic support of your credit union in 2023. On behalf of your board and staff, thank you for 75 first-rate years. The credit union is all yours. Thank you. You have heard the report of the chair. I declare the report received. And now Denise Dolan will present the report of the audit committee. Thank you, Ellen. The audit committee includes DePaco board members Bob Wethel, myself, Denise Dolan, 
and Jeff Goner, who serves as our committee chair. I want to thank my fellow committee members for their dedicated work this past year. The role of your audit committee is to ensure that the highest degree of integrity is maintained in operations and that your credit union is performing in accordance with all policies and procedures. This is accomplished through a series of ongoing checks and balances. In 2023, an examination was conducted by the State of Iowa Division of Credit Unions and the National Credit Union Administration. This audit reviewed our financial statements, security standards, and adherence to regulations, policies, and procedures. These state and federal government agencies again affirmed our strong results. In addition, the accounting firm of RSMUS LLP was contracted to perform the independent certified public accountant audit for the credit union's 2022 financial statements, as well as its compliance with federal regulations and management practices. We are pleased to report that RSM US LLP concluded that DePaco's financial statements were, fair, were presented fairly in all material respects and conformed with accounting principles generally accepted in the United States of America. This shows that, without exception, our financial house is in order. As a result of the comprehensive audits and the findings of the committee, it is our opinion that all financial statements fairly and accurately reflect the financial condition of DePaco Community Credit Union. Mr. Chairman, this concludes the Audit Committee's report to the membership for 2023. Thank you, Denise. At this time, I ask for a motion to approve the report. Thank you. A second? A second received. All in favor, say aye. aye. Opposed, nay. Thank you. Motion carries. At this time, Joe Hearn will now present the President's report. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for your attendance at your Credit Union 75th annual meeting. And I want to tell you what an honor it is to serve Team DuPaco as we mark this. It's really a noteworthy milestone, something to be proud of. Uh, I know many of you that I've gone around and talked to, appreciate you being here. A lot of you have been members of DuPaco for a long, long time. And so I'd, I'd ask you, you've been sitting for a while, maybe you'd humor me with a little exercise. So if you're interested and willing, please stand up at your seat. Stand up and take a stretch here. Please stand up if you're interested. Now, what I would like you to do is do a little bit of quick mental math and try to determine how long you've been a member of DuPaco Community Credit Union. Now, it doesn't have to be exact. You can estimate, but give it a shot here. An approximation is going to be just fine. So let's do this. If you've been a member of DuPaco for less than five years, less than five years, please sit down. Okay. If you've been a member of DuPaco for less than 10 years, please sit down. Okay. If you've been a member of DuPaco for less than 20 years, please sit down. If you've been a member of DuPaco for less than 30 years, please sit down. Boy, love longevity. If you've been a member of DePaco for less than 40 years, please sit down. 40 years. Now, I've got to admit, I, this is where I'd take a seat because I joined DePaco right out of Loris College in 1986, and thanks, Bob, for encouraging me to do so. Bob Hafer. If you've been a member of DePaco for less than 50 years, please sit down. Take a look around here, folks. Everyone that's still standing has been a member of DePaco for more than 50 years. 50. <laughs> Woo! All right. Keep in mind, we've been around 75 years, so this is, this is big. So if you've been a member for less than 60 years, please sit down. Oh, a couple more. Oh, we lost a few. Six, if you've been a member less than 62 years, sit down. 
Been a member for less than 64 years, sit down. Been a member less than 66 years, please sit down. 68 years or less, please sit down. If you've been a member of DePaco for less than 70 years, please sit down. 71, 72, 73, 74, lost a couple, 75 years. I see two folks standing who've been members of this credit union since 1948. Or, Reg, can I get your names? Get your names. Alan Sheckle. 91 years old. Awesome, Alan. Thank you. Thanks for being a 75 year member. Who was the other gentleman? Lloyd Strand. Lloyd, thanks for being a member of DePaco for 75 years. It's awesome. Holy cow. That's amazing. I want to thank each and every one of you for being a member of DePaco. Whether you've been a member for 70 days, 75 days, or 75 years, I want to thank you. I just want you to know what an honor and a privilege it is for us to serve you as a member owner. You know, we started out with 10 employees of the Dubuque Packing Company operating out of a cigar box, and now we serve over 163,000 member owners. And you know, your credit union's grown and prospered over the years for these simple reasons. It's thanks to your loyalty, it's thanks to your advocacy and your support, and I can't thank you enough. And if we look back at the last 75 years, you know, we watched that great video, kudos to the team marketing, uh, they kicked off today's event. You know, you'll quickly remember the evolution of our financial needs. Uh, DePaco started out with what we, you know, considered basic, simple transactions like deposits, withdrawals, check cashing, and services and small dollar loans. But just as you've changed, we've continued to evolve and we've tried to grow and evolve with you, delivering a full range of products and services and delivering them both in person and digitally. And all that we do is designed to help improve your financial well-being. And at your credit union, we're truly full service. And with us, you can save, you can borrow, you can invest, you can insure, I assure you, and you can trust. Now, evolution can be exciting. It brings new tools and opportunities. And in 2023, we launched our automated phone system featuring Ray, and I know we've had a few bumps here and there. We're continuing to work through it. Bear with us. Tools like Ray, though, live video tellers, and Shine Online and mobile banking, what they do is they greatly extend our service hours, and it allows the team members more time to connect with you because we need to have deeper conversations about your money and your goals and how we can help you and your family get there. It's very important to us. You know, our mission, as Ron intimated, is uh, to help members build a life worth loving and that guides each and everything we do each and every day. Life worth loving. No matter where you are in your financial journey, DePaco's here for you and as your advocate. And again, we want to help you improve your well-being. And through a partnership with Filene Research Institute, we found that DuPaco members do indeed have an overall higher well-being than non-members. I think that's powerful and it shows we're on the path. So check this little video out. At DuPaco, your health and happiness are as important to us as your financial well-being. So when retirement is on the horizon, we'll help ensure you're ready for your next adventure providing you freedom to focus on what truly brings you joy. Well-being is the key to a life worth loving. So when you think about yours, remember that DuPaco can help you be well. Awesome. That was a sneak peek at a commercial for our newest Be Well campaign. You'll see that launching soon. We want members to feel capable, calm, and confident about themselves and about the decisions they're making. And our community of members and employees value, and we continue to invest in that well-being because it's part of our mission. And as a cooperative that was created and structured to be authentic and trusted advocate for our members' best interests, we know that when our members love life, it makes that brighter community for all that's in our logo. And now 2023, 
It was a little bumpy. We, it was marked by insurance industry consternation, continued interest rate hikes, and that impacted both borrowers and savers. But DePaco had your back. And in our annual report, which is, was at your seat here, um, there are a few items I'd just like to point out. About one in four loans that Team DePaco did last year was for $2,500 or less. And you can't generally even get those at some of the larger commercial banks. They're not profitable. But we're there to help our members with their goals, whether their needs are large or small. We're there. While insurance premiums climb nationwide, members switching to DePaco insurance services were able to save on average $355 in annual premiums. So if you haven't given Team DePaco a look as it relates to insurance, give us a shot. Hopefully we can save you some money as well. 11,611 members locked in a term share certificate. 63% of those, it was the first one. And hopefully that'll be the first of their many DePaco term share certificates. Overall, members continued to use DePaco tools to grow their savings and investment balances. In 2023, did more than $2.9 billion. $2.9 billion from that $125 we started with. Think about it. Helping our members build and save for the future. Now, as members build savings, and when you honor us with your hard-earned deposits, you know, rest assured, your team continues to work hard to consistently pay right, fair, at, and above market rates. And what's more, when you save at DePaco, keep in mind the money you're depositing is recycled locally among your fellow members. We lend your deposits to your family and friends and neighbors for homes, for education, for vehicles, vacations, businesses, as we saw, and more. In addition to great rates, this past year, nearly 74,000 participating DePaco members earned more than $3.3 in bonus dividends as part of our thank yous program. And since 2016, DePaco's paid over $27.5 million directly back to our member owners. The thank yous dividend demonstrates the power of DePaco's member-owned cooperative structure. We're all in this together. Rest assured that when you do business with DuPaco, you're doing business with a financial institution. We are rock solid, and we've got your back. But you don't have to take Joe Hearn's word for it. In 2023, DuPaco was once again recognized by Bauer Financial with a five-star rating as being one of the country's strongest financial institutions. We're strong. We're also recognized by Forbes as the best in-state credit union. And we were excited to kick off 2024 by being listed as the nation's top 250 credit union by Newsweek. These are all testaments, not only the strength of our cooperative, but also the connections our team has with our members. FACO is led by a nine-person volunteer board of directors seated before you, and they are your elected voice of the membership. And these dedicated individuals, they pour themselves into this they thoughtfully weigh every decision investments have made. It's not always easy. And I would tell you their passion for service in the credit union is contagious. These fine folks continue to move your credit union forward, just as the original volunteer directors did way back in 1948, when those two gentlemen started out their membership. Think about it. I enthusiastically applaud this talented group of directors. These are leaders. And I thank them for their continued service and the tremendous commitment to their cooperative. It fires me up and fills me up. And I want to tell you, board, it's an honor and a privilege to work with and for you all. It really is. And Ron, done a hell of a job. Your dad, Don Myers, be proud. All right. Let's turn our attention to the entire Team DePaco crew. So please stand to the Team DePaco members if you're with us here today. The employees, stand. We've got some stand over this. Everybody stand if you're an employee of DePaco. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank these fine folks. I want to thank all Team DePaco members watching online. And, you know, I appreciate your continued dedication to our mission and service to our members. And I want to tell you, I'm proud of you, team. I think you know that about me. I'm proud of you because you, your, your dedication, you're talented, and you put yourself out there on a day-to-day -day basis to help members do all kinds of interesting and challenging situations. And I love you, and, and I'm proud of our team. And I, I always say this. Uh, they serve members with heart and smart, and that's what it's all about. 
and uh, team. I think we should, in turn, give it up to our member owners. Let's give them a little round of applause to all these fine folks here. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you all for being members. And I want to tell you, offer us one fine place to work. I don't mind telling you. So to start to wrap this up, you're like, Joe, get off the stage, I know. But I assure you, I just want to assure you that after 75 years, 75, Dupaco has not lost sight of how we got here today. You know, this photo we're flashing up before you, it's a photo of Dupaco's founding members, and it's prominently displayed near my desk. And it's a daily reminder of the humble beginnings, humble beginnings, and now look where we are. We're one Dupaco. We continue to work towards our vision of a brighter community for all. It's not all bad out there. There's goodness within Dupaco, and we will keep it going. I want to thank all our valued members here, online, across our country and world. Thank you for participating. This is your financial cooperative, and you are appreciated. And here to the next 75 years and beyond. Let's go onward and upward. Thank you very much. Thanks, Joe. I declare the report received. Renee Poppy will now present the Credit Committee report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the 2023 Credit and Delinquent Loan Committee included Steve Chapman, Randy Skimp, Matt Dodds, Dil, uh, Jill Schweikert, Mark McCoy, and myself, Renee Poppy. It was an honor to chair this committee during the credit union's 75th year of service. I offer you a summary of exceptional loan results detailed in the annual report. For those attending in person, you were handed one when you arrived today. Those watching online, you can click the link near the chat to download your copy. I'm happy to report that during 2023, DuPaco continues continued its focus on helping more members through smart and reasonable borrowing. We produced terrific results and many enthusiastic and grateful members. Credit union staff approved more than 72,000 loans. Total loan disbursements were 1.1 billion. As of December 31st, 2023, total outstanding loans stood at 2.3 billion. This is up from 2.1 billion at the end of 2022 and 1.7 billion at the end of 2021. The 2023 loan figure represents 91 cents for $1 of member savings. Yes, your credit union continues to have plenty of money to lend. Please encourage your family and friends to first consider DuPaco for their borrowing needs. Despite an increase in loans, the delinquency figure remains in line with national averages. This is a tribute to the loyalty of our members and the outstanding efforts of our staff who proactively work with members confronted with difficult financial circumstances during the year. We congratulate and thank our business, real estate, consumer loan, and member solutions teams for their exceptional effort this past year. We also want to thank you for your business and we look forward to being an additional service throughout 2024. Mr. Chairman, this concludes the Credit and Delinquent Loan Committee's 2023 report to the membership. Thank you, Renee. I declare the report received. Ms. Goodman Miller, is there any unfinished business? There is no known unfinished business. Thank you. DuPaco is built on a legacy of service from exemplary individuals. In 2023, DuPaco lost someone special and one who many of you knew personally, Mr. Dick Schrader. Dick served on DuPaco's volunteer board of directors for 37 years 
And like every board member that Dupaco has been blessed with, Dick's leadership and contributions made a positive difference in the lives of our members and as our community as a whole. Dick passed away on October 12 of 2023. In addition to Dick, I want to give special thank you and recognize all past directors whose name you see on the screen. And if there are any directors currently present, I ask that you stand now. I see Bob Hafer here. Thank you, Bob. These former directors built the foundation for the success of Dupaco, and we strive to continue the success they've started. Thank you all for your service. The Dupaco Foundation was established in 2012 to honor the retirement of 47-year-old employee and longtime Dupaco Community Credit Union President and CEO Robert W. Bob Hafer. I invite Foundation Chair, Board Chair Randy Skemp to provide a brief update on the organization's recent activities. Mr. Scamp. Thank you, Ron. On behalf of the Dupaco R.W. Hafer Foundation Board, thank you for this opportunity to provide a brief update to the Dupaco membership. The Tobacco Foundation is a standalone 501c3 organization that enhances the spirit of Tobacco Community Credit Union's mission of improving people's financial position and overall well being. The foundation provides additional tools to enhance the impact our, to our members and communities. In, in addition to my position as the foundation board chair, my fellow foundation board members include Andy Schrader. Bob Hafer, Joan Hearn, and Danell Groton. In 11 years, the foundation assets currently stand at more than $8.2 million. In 2023, DePaco employees contributed $83,500 to the foundation through payroll uh, deductions. Thank you to the staff for all your contributions there, and thanks to all the members for their contributions. Being a member of your cooperative, you're already part of the great giving impact and legacy the foundation has created. Thank you to everyone who has contributed. Since its inception, more than 2.7 million has been dispersed, most often funding in the areas of financial empowerment and education. The foundation has made a lasting impact on the lives of credit union members. Consider supporting the foundation unique and sustainable mission. To make a contribution or to learn more, please go to www.dupaco.com backslash foundation. We thank you in advance for that. Mr. Chairman, on behalf of the Dupaco Foundation Board, thank you for this time. That concludes my report. Thank you, Randy. Great work and a wonderful example of how our foundation enhances what your credit union does every single day. And before we sign off for the day, I want to introduce Director Ellen Goodman Miller, who chairs DuPacle's Marketing Committee. Ellen has details for a special giveaway that we are doing today in honor of our 75th annual meeting. Ms. Goodman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Today you've heard and read stories about how DuPaco continues to offer that helping hand to our members regardless of where they may be in their financial journey. Our team knows the importance of having an emergency fund and how it can help members feel in control and prepared for whatever may come their way. Studies find that we feel more financially secure when our savings can cover unexpected expenses. One way members can quickly start an emergency fund is by starting a savings goal, which is a special DuPaco feature on Shine Online and Mobile Banking. It puts you on a savings track toward whatever goal you have in mind. You just enter your target amount and date, and then the savings goal will calculate your customized plan for reaching it, making savings for your future effortless. Or maybe you want something to put your loose change in at home or prefer an old-fashioned piggy bank, or 
how about one of these custom Dupaco save o -matics? A system like the Dupaco save o -matic gives your coins a purpose. This concept is quite simple with these three chamber savings, the three chamber savings container. A Save-O-Matic can help members build up their emergency savings. It will also help set aside money to spend in their local economy and share with a special cause that is near and dear to their hearts. We know that completing your savings goal or filling up your savings container can help members feel capable, confident, and happier. This helps us be well and helps Dupaco fulfill our vision of a brighter community for all. So whether you use coffee cans, envelopes, a Dupaco savings account, or even a save -a -matic, you can easily create a system to help you set aside money to help spend, save, and share. So these save -a have a special story. They're cast iron savings vessels that were locally designed and built entirely in the United States with the majority of the materials and parts fabricated right here in Iowa. And today, 25 of these limited edition save -a will be given away to members joining us here at the Grand River Center and 25 people who are joining us virtually from their home. Uh, when you arrive today, each of you were given a special card written by one of our Dupaco crew members. If you had one of these special tickets, 25 folks had, had one of these special tickets in their envelope, please stand up and some of the Dupaco crew will come around and give you your very own save -a and for those of you tuning in at home, 25 of you had the same special tickets randomly placed in your card. Um, please follow the directions on your card to redeem your special prize. For those of us of the Willy Wonka generation, that was the golden ticket. So thank you, Ellen. As we close, I extend a special thank you to the annual meeting committee for their efforts. And thank you to Wired Productions Group for their help today with today's event. Thank you to everyone who has joined us for our annual meeting. I would now entertain a motion for adjournment. Thank you. A second? Second heard. All in favor say aye. Opposed, nay. With that, I declare the 75th Annual Meeting of Dupaco Community Credit Union adjourned. <laughs> However, before we get ready for lunch,
All right, welcome everyone. My name is Michelle Gonring and this is Haley Stonebarger and we are here to talk to you guys about a financial checkup. So I'm not sure if any of you have heard of this before um, or if you're like, what the heck are these girls talking about? Um, financial checkups are so, so important and we're gonna dive into why. So our agenda today is why do you need a financial checkup? Organizing for your future, five important financial checkup activities, how long to keep important documents. And then finally, we'll wrap up with how to practice a frugal month. So I don't know about you, Haley, but I'm pretty excited for all this. This is some really, really good information. So let's dive in. Why do you need a financial checkup? You know, the biggest piece of advice I like to give my members that I work with is we take our physical, mental, emotional well-being so, so serious. Why are we not doing the same thing with our finances? I mean, for those of you that don't know, Haley and I are both on the community outreach and education team. I'm in the Des Moines market. She's in the Cedar Rapids market. And our full-time job is we actually bring Dupaco in the workplace and we provide free financial literacy. So we run into folks day in and day out that tell us their credit isn't where they want it to be. They have trouble saving. They live paycheck to paycheck. So we live and breathe this every single day. That's why it's so, so important to take your financial well-being seriously. We go to the doctor, most of us, every year. We go to the dentist, you know, to have our teeth checked, things like that. So why are we not doing the same with our finances? Um, you know, your financial checkup too is a really, really great opportunity for you to review your goals, your budget, your investments, and legal documents. So those are kind of what I'm going to dive into first um, and really go over with you on how to organize for your future and things like that. So diving right in, you know, when you think about your financial checkup, your financial well-being, you really, really need to ask those tough questions. Um, they're not fun. You know, sometimes your finances, they're not really fun, right, Haley? No, yeah. they're, they can be scary. Yes, it can be really, really uncomfortable things you don't want to think about, but no, everybody has to think about these things. So first and foremost, when you're coming up with your financial checkup and organizing for the future, you need to think about what would happen if you were suddenly unable to care for yourself and finances. So, you know, if you were injured, um, you know, or maybe you had dementia or Alzheimer's, something like that, you know, what would you do if you could not make those decisions on your own? So that's something really important to think about. You know, feel free to jot down some notes too while we talk about this. Um, that's always helpful. And don't be afraid too, to communicate your wishes to your loved ones. Um, so think about that. And then do you have a plan in place if you pass away? Haley, I don't know if you do, but I do. I need to work on my will some more. I need to work on getting it started, but yes, yeah. you're right. Yes. So, you know, you just need to think about these things. Again, it's super, you know, uncomfortable maybe for some people. And nobody likes to think about that stuff, but it's so, so important when you're planning for your future. So um, one thing to think about is creating an estate plan. Um, what an estate plan is all about, it's communicating your wishes, maximizing what goes to your heirs, your, your heirs, yep, and then um, minimizing taxes and fees. So how can you transfer the most money and assets to your loved ones? Um, this is not something that Haley and I are experts on. This actually requires a financial advisor. Um, Haley and I are not skilled in that area. Uh, we help you with the day-to-day -day finances and things like that, but Dupaco does have some awesome uh, financial advisors through our financial services that can help you with all of this. So again, we're just really trying to get you to think about these things and kind of know where you want to go. If you have very specific questions about that, please give us a call and you can request to be set up with one of our financial advisors and they're gonna take amazing care of you. Um, when you think about these things and organizing for your future, it's also really important to consider any life changes. Um, so any life change would be actually, if you got married, had a baby, I did all of that within three months last year. <laughs> Um, so, you know, think about that. You need to think about like, do you need to change your life insurance policy? Are your accounts set up properly? These are all super important things. Um, you know, a death of a loved one would count as a life change as well. And then, like I mentioned, the birth of a child, um, or if unfortunately you, you get a divorce, those are all things that need to be considered. Haley and I, like I said, we go into the workplace a lot and uh, we did some benefits meetings this past year. And one thing they said at every single one was make sure your life insurance beneficiaries up to date, your 401k beneficiaries up to date. Again, these aren't things we like to think about, but the last thing you want is your money to go to the wrong person. 
Um, you know, so just keep that in mind. You want to make sure all your accounts have the right information from everything from your phone number address to that beneficiary. Um, so the, that's super important. I cannot stress that enough. You really should review your accounts at least once a year and then for any of these life events. Um, this next section is actually my personal favorite. Um, we're going to talk about five important checkup activities. So Haley knows I like absolutely nerd out for credit scores. Um, credit scores are my favorite thing ever. So we're going to talk about the, these five important financial checkup activities. And the first one is to check your credit report. So for a lot of you, you're probably like, I don't really understand credit. I mean, I'm older than credit scores. I won't tell you guys how old I am, but I'm older than them and I'm not that old. Um, you know, so Credit scores are kind of newer um, and they're constantly changing and evolving. So the reason why you want to check your credit report is because you want to make sure that you're looking uh, for everything to be accurate. Is there any fraudulent activity? Um, you know, I've been doing this eight years and I wish I could say every single credit report I've looked at, there hasn't been something at least once that's bubbled up that that member didn't know about. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just kind of the reality of the world we live in and things go on. So it's really, really important to check your credit report at least once a year. Uh, we recommend that you don't have your credit pulled more than you know two to three times a year, just because that can impact your score a little bit. You can also get your free credit report from each credit bureau um, on a rolling calendar, on a rolling year, not a calendar, sorry. So like um, if you got your one credit report in April, from like TransUnion, you could ask for it again the next April. What I usually recommend is there's three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Experian, if you block that out every four months, you can check it constantly throughout the year and make sure you stay on top of things. Um, so quickly though, I would love to just share with you guys a little bit of credit score knowledge. Um, there's two things that I like to tell my members and Haley, please chime in on this. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, Haley and I work with a lot of members that are credit challenged um, and they're just, they're not sure where to start. So the two biggest things I tell people are make sure you pay absolutely everything on time and make sure you keep those credit card balances low. Those two things actually make up 63% of your score. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So um, on-time payments count, um, just mean that you pay those on time. A late payment is 30 days late or more. Um, so even if you accidentally mess up and you paid your credit card with us a day or two later, maybe your car payment a day or two late, that's not going to get reported to the credit bureau. But if you pay it 30 days later or more, it will. And one late payment can impact your score up to 100 points. So I'm not saying that to scare you, just want to be transparent mm -hmm. with that. The next 23% is related directly to your credit card usage. So you want to make sure you keep those credit card balances at 30% or less. Um, now, that's not to say if you have an emergency and you need to use it, do what you need to do. Just know if you go over that 30%, it can impact your score. The next 21% of your score is credit age. The longer you keep things open, the better. Um, but now again, if you have a credit card that you're not using and you haven't used it for five years, if it makes sense, go ahead and close it. But just know the longer you keep things open, the better. The next 11% is your account mix. So there's actually only three types of credit on your credit report, which is mortgages, they're, it's their own entity. Then we have installment loans. So that would be like your car loan, personal loan, student loans are included in that. And then the last is revolving, which would be your credit cards, um, home equity lines of credit, things like that. And then the last 5% of your score is made up of inquiries. Um, so, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want my credit pulled. It might impact my score. You know, for most folks, it impacts approximately five points. A lot of people make that up in a month. But try to keep those credit pulls below the two to three a year. Haley, did I miss anything on that? That was perfect. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All righty. So the next uh, important financial checkup activity is to save for your goals. I'm also super passionate about saving. I know Haley is. Dupaco makes it so easy for us, guys. So easy. So easy. Uh, we have these really cool, you name it, savings, um, which allow you to open as many savings accounts as you want. I think Haley and I figured out we have, what, 20 between yeah. the two of us? And we're not exaggerating. You can have them open for anything. Um, and you can name them whatever you want. So our number one, you name it, savings um, in 2022 was actually a vacation fund. I have a vacation fund. I'm sure you do too, Haley. I do. And my dog also has a savings account. Yes. Our dogs have a savings account. We have one for daycare. All those types of things. You can literally name it whatever you want. And the reason why you do that is because it gives a purpose. 
you know, if you're saving, I like to call it willy nilly, you're not going to be focused on saving. You might be like, oh, well, I kind of want to save for a new car, but I'll worry about that next year. You know, this puts a focus on it. This puts an emphasis on it. And then it's really, really important to make saving systematic and automatic. Or like I say, systematically. Yes. Kaylee says systematically. I like to call it the crock pot of savings. You said it and forget it. Uh, whichever way you go, just make sure you're making the saving a priority. So what we recommend is that every time you get paid, you set up those automatic transfers that same day so that it goes right in those savings account and you're not tempted to spend it. And that is how you make savings a priority. And that is how you achieve your financial goals. I mean, it also helps too with budgeting as well. It does. Yes. That's so it. important with the budgeting, which we will dive into a little mm -hmm. bit in that in a bit. Um, the next important financial checkup activity is to track your expenses. So you need to know where all your money is going. Now, I will fully admit I might go get chai tea lattes way too much every week. Um, you know, I have to scale back on that. I know Haley likes Starbies. Yep. You know, we all have our things we like to do. Um, so you just need to know where your money is going. If you feel like you don't have enough money, then we would strongly encourage you to make sure you're writing down every single expense so you know where that money is going. And knowing where your money goes gives you so much knowledge and power and really allows you mm -hmm. to make smart spending choices. So however you choose to use your money is your business. We just want to make sure you hit your goals. So if you're kind of struggling with you don't know where your money is going, track it and see where you're at. I'm actually going to turn it over to Haley, who's going to talk about reviewing your insurance policies. Yeah, I'm actually super excited about this because I just went through this process myself, and it is so simple with Dupaco. Um, and, you know, that's something, too, like we have been talking about, um, you know, taking charge of your finances and um, making those right decisions. And just like your credit score, you should check your insurance policies once a year at least. Um, the cost of insurance rates are going up. It's um, no secret. So being a smart consumer is super important. Um, checking it annually is something that you have to do. Um, our insurance services uh, makes it simple and easy. Um, check your coverage too after any life events, just like what we talked about, mm -hmm. divorce, birth of a child, things of that sort. Um, that's a great time to do so. And also you could save money. Who doesn't like saving money? Exactly. Yes. I love saving money. Um, so please reach out to our insurance services. They'd love to sit and talk to you or go into a branch and they can help you set up that appointment. Awesome. Thank you, Haley. Mm -hmm. Our final important financial checkup activity is to ask for help. So Haley and I deal with this stuff day in and day out. This is literally our full-time job. We know this frontwards, backwards. We don't expect our members to know that. So if you need help, Dupaco is here to help you. Give us a call. Stop in the branch chat us. Maybe we come to your work. Um, you know, ask us for help. We want to help you. And a money makeover is a great, great place to start. What a money makeover is, we check your credit, we look over your budget, and we really help you get started. And we can see, you know, where are some holes in your budget? Um, you know, could we save you money on a loan? Things like that. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Dupaco is here and we want to help you build that life worth loving. And I still do money makeovers myself every year. Just because we teach this doesn't mean we're we're not missing things as well. Exactly. Oh, this is this is my favorite topic. <laughs> love this one. All right, you guys. Um, who doesn't love to declutter? I love declutter. Okay, I have to. I like to stay organized. Um, so there are a lot of documents out there too that um, you might be questioning: Do we keep? Do we not keep? Um, you know, my grandma, bless her heart, but she has probably every single document she's ever gotten since she turned 18. So um, that's a lot of we're going through right now. But there's some um, documents right up here on the screen to birth certificates, social security cards, passports, marriage licenses, wills, um, adoption paperwork, um, mortgage re records. Those are things that we should keep forever and we need to keep them in a safe place. Um, a great example of that is our safe deposit boxes that you can find at our branches. Um, it's a great option. Um, we don't want to leave those out for people to find um, and putting them underneath your bed um, or in a drawer isn't the safest place to do so. Um, the next slide too we're going to talk about um, our I think these ones are a little bit more difficult to know when to keep, when to toss. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things like the tax returns, um, any kind of supporting documents for incomes, um, selling a house or stock, uh, paid out loans, um, sold investments, uh, medical records. Um, those are ones where we kind of question what we do with it. I'm a big believer in staying organized and I love color coding. So um, something that works for me might not work for you, but you know, try a different way to keep this organized. I have everything color coded by um, year. So I know after seven years, this color gets tossed. Um, 
Also too, medical records nowadays can be found online. It's a great place to save them within um, your hospital records. I'd say keep them there. Also a great thing about Dupaco is we have those mortgage documents for you online as well. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't have to print it off, I'd say keep it there. It's a safe place to keep it. It's very safe. Yes, it is. And these are the ones I feel like pile up really quickly. Bank <laughs> statements, which I hope everyone has now signed up for e-statements. I mean, it's a great thing to do. You also save the environment. Um, and you get $5. And you get $5. Who yeah. doesn't like money? So if you don't have any statements, sign up. It's You get $5 for it. Um, pay stubs too. Nowadays, most employers, you can keep those online and online portal. I suggest doing that as well. Um, quarterly investment statements, again, um, keep that on your online banking. And cancel checks is one too that I we kind of forget to keep those. I think it's very important so you can go back for your records. I would say keep those in your safe deposit box as well. Um, that's a great place you know, for people to get your information on those checks. So keep those safe. And Dupaco scans them for you. Yeah, and Dupaco, yes, exactly. All right, now here's those credit card statements. I will say it again. I hope you're signed up for e-statements. It's a great way to keep those um, safe and organized. Um, ATM slips, did you know that you should keep those? I don't even get them. I, I just wait for my text alert. So if you're one of those people that do get them, please keep those safe for 30 days, but there's no need past that time. Um, utility bills, again, most of that's found online nowadays. Um, kick the paper, keep it online. Um, it's a great way to stay organized as well. And also with those, I love to do the automatic payments through online oh banking. God then I don't forget. So it's a great way to do it. Um, warranty information, insurance policies, again, those can be found online. Um, vehicle titles, loan documents, keep as long as active. So if you don't have that vehicle from high school, you probably shouldn't have that document anymore. Um, house mortgage documents, again, online, just keep those on there. Pension records and retirement plans as well. Um, keep those as long as you need them and they're active, you can keep those in your safe deposit box. Awesome. Thank you, Haley. Yeah, of course. Oh yes, the frugal month. The frugal the month. The frugal month. All right. Well, we had talked to you about saving money um, and you know taking control of your finances. You have to track your spending. You have to. I always say if you don't know what you're spending, how do you know, you know, how much money you have really true? You're just kind of going, you know, willy-nilly on it. Um, and be kind to yourself. Uh, we talked about too that emotional well-being. Um, finances are they're stressful. Um, we all feel it, um, but as long as you are, you know, feeling like you're doing what's right for you, um, tracking your expenses, you should be good to go. Um, determine to where to cut costs. I like to call that holes, 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 finding the holes. Um, so, you know, that could be things that maybe um, like, you know, that extra trip to Starbucks, which we're both guilty on, or if you're in my case, going to PetSmart an extra time for your doc to, to maybe <laughs> cut back on those things. Be honest with yourself. You know, it's a need versus wants. Is that something you really need? Um, discovering your spending baseline. Um, this is your bare bones budget. And something really cool is you can go to dupaco.com and we have um, a little advice column that can talk to you about how to set up a budget. Um, you can also go into your branch as well and the branch staff would love to help you with that. And we do it too. At your work. At your work as well. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, and then establish that new budget um, and stick with it too. So give it a shot. Try it for a couple of months. Um, every month is going to be a little different. Um, July is going to look different than December. Um, so, you know, just keep trying and trying and trying. And if it, you know, you have suggestions or not suggestions, questions, please uh, contact us at DuPaco. We'd love to help. Awesome. Excellent mm -hmm. information. Yeah. Google months are hard. They're really hard. They're so hard because you, you're not supposed to do those extras right. and, you oh. know, and maybe something comes up. They're, they're tough. And you have to tell yourself too, like I said, need versus want. Yep. So anyway, we're going back to our resources. Please, please take advantage of that dupaco.com. I kept on saying it. We have so many things on there. We have seminars, webinars, blogs, videos. If you go to our Facebook, you'll see Michelle. She does a lot of videos on there. She's kind of famous. Um, not. <laughs> you are. And take care of that money makeover there too. That is, I, I cannot say it enough. I do that. I'm an employee here and I love it. Um, stop into a branch, give us a call, uh, check us out at work. Uh, we're here to help you. Perfect. Thank you guys. We hope you have a great day. And again, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We are always here to help and we want to help you build a life worth loving.